Hi, this is Darren Moore from CAD Microsystems, here with a tip on how to connect an Excel spreadsheet to your AutoCAD drawing. I'm on the Home tab of the ribbon, and on the Annotation panel, I'm going to click the Table button. Go ahead and click Table. In the Table or Insert Table dialog box, we are going to use the second option from the top from a data link. I'll go ahead and left click data link. If there were data links in this drawing, I would see them in this list, but there are currently no data links in this drawing. So I'll go ahead and click Launch Data Link Manager. My only option here is to create a new data link. I'll go ahead and click Create New Data Link, and I'll just call this Class Example. And I'll say OK. Now I'm in a dialog box that will allow me to browse for the location of my Excel spreadsheet. I'll go ahead and click Browse, and I have popped an Excel spreadsheet onto my desktop called Electrical Bomb. I'll select this spreadsheet and click Open, and it will put me back in that dialog box. Um, it will indicate that my spreadsheet is too large to, to provide a preview. It's not a very large spreadsheet, so I'm not sure why it, it won't preview. But my options here are to link entire sheet, which is what I want to do. I'm going to link sheet one. However, I could link other sheets or additional sheets. I could link to a range that was uh, that I could define here, or I could activate this link to a named range. And if one existed in my drawing, in my Excel spreadsheet, excuse me, I could use that as my option. So I'm just going to leave all my settings as default. I'll go ahead and click OK. And then I'm in my next spreadsheet or my next dialog box that would, would provide me a, a preview if the spreadsheet were not too large, but apparently it is. So I'll click OK. And then finally I'm back in the insert table dialog box where I'll click OK one last time. So here's the table at my crosshairs. I'll go ahead and left click to place it like so, and my object snap caught it and it snapped me to the upper left corner of my border. This linked Excel spreadsheet is using all the formatting from uh, Excel. The fill color, the font, and what have you. It also is a little bit too large for my layout. So if I had enough room uh, to the right, I could left click my spreadsheet and then left click this little uh, table break, this little arrow here, left click, and I'll just lift this up to my next row. And then you can see it's just, I'm, I'm just crowding my, my border too much. But that just gives you an example. You, if you have extra long tables, you can break them and, um, and they'll fit better on, a, maybe if you don't have a lot of room, they, they can fit better in, in tight areas. So this is a linked uh, table. If I were to go to my uh, desktop, and make a change to that spreadsheet, Electrical Bomb, I'm going to change uh, the quantity in row 2 from 5 to 5,000, let's say, and I'll hit Enter. I'll save that change and I'll exit Excel. And when I return to my AutoCAD drawing, I'll see a, a little bubble in the bottom right corner stating the data link has changed. And if I zoom in on the location that, of my change, if I click the little hyperlink here, click the hyperlink, it will update that table. And there it goes. So my, my computer is a little slow, but it did eventually update. Um, the most efficient way to update the spreadsheet is from Excel to AutoCAD. However, we can update from AutoCAD to Excel. If I left click in my next uh, cell, uh, after my single left click, there are two badges at my crosshairs. One badge is a chain link, one is a lock, indicating this cell is linked to an external spreadsheet and the cell is locked. However, I can unlock the cell by clicking cell locking and then choosing the unlock option. Now my cell is unlocked. It's still linked, but it's unlocked. I can double click here and maybe I'll change the value to n slash a saying it's not applicable or not available or something like that. Now to, to write the changes from AutoCAD to Excel, 
I need to select the table sort of at its edge somewhere on the generic somewhere generically on the table left click the table right click my mouse and from the right click menu I'll choose write data links to external source I'll left click on that and the bubble again appears indicating the spreadsheet has been updated. It, one caveat to be aware of is we need to have our Excel spreadsheet closed when we are writing from Excel to the, to, excuse me, from AutoCAD to the Excel spreadsheet. Otherwise, the command will fail. So now if I open that spreadsheet up again, here's Electrical Bomb I just had to open. And I look at my uh, third row where I, the item was four, item number was four, the quantity was four. Now my item number is not available or not applicable. So that is a way to uh, link an Excel spreadsheet to AutoCAD and have uh, a live link so I can update in Excel, have that update realized in AutoCAD, also update in AutoCAD and push that update out to um, Excel. So I hope that helps clear things up. This has been Darren Moore for CAD Micro, showing you how to link an Excel spreadsheet to an AutoCAD drawing.